Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Raw Reaction Show. I'm your host, Glenn Thomas. As always, one four for the Wrestling Marks of Excellence, which you can hear each and Thursday night on Fox Sports Radio, 1340 AM at 96.9 FM. You also can go ahead and download us on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher. Go ahead and subscribe to us on YouTube. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our update shows, whether it's the Raw Reaction Show, whether it's the SmackDown Reaction Show, or whether it's our weekly podcast. But ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get started here uh, with Monday Night Raw coming from Seattle, Washington. Oh, what a Monday Night Raw it was. First, we start open up the show with Dean Ambrose in the ring uh, with Charlie. Charlie's asking Dean Ambrose about the accusations from the Dogs of War, about him leaving the Shield, about him having some animosity against Seth Rollins, having some animosity against Roman Reigns. And Dean Ambrose says, hey, there is some truth to this. Dean Ambrose says, yeah, Roman Reigns is a universal champion. Yes, Dean, uh, Seth Rollins is the Intercontinental Champion. It is also true that Seth Rollins left me quickly after I got injured last year and moved on with Jason Jordan. But he said that we are a brotherhood and we're sticking together no matter what, regardless of what the Dogs of War say, that we are a brotherhood. Then that brings out Baron Corbin, the constable himself, the acting Raw general manager who comes out and says that what, oh, tired of this, stop whining about this brotherhood crap, and made a match for Dean Ambrose that night, and Dean Ambrose took on Braun Strowman, the monster. Now, Braun Strowman, he kept Dean Ambrose grounded for most of this match with heavy offense, power moves, shoulder tackle, body slams, and he was just beating Dean Ambrose to pillar to post on Monday Night Raw, which prompted the Big dog, Roman Reigns to get involved in this match, which gave Braun Strowman the win uh, via DQ. Roman Reigns got involved in the match with Braun Strowman. These two guys, it's not over with them yet. We know that at the Crown Jewel pay-per-view, it will be Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman, in Brock Lesnar. They face off for the Universal Championship match. So once again... Dean Ambrose loses this match. Braun Strowman gets the win, which prompted the next match. Dean, a- Seth Rollins, excuse me. Dolph Ziggler taking on Roman Reigns for the first time ever on Monday Night Raw. We saw Dolph Ziggler and Roman Reigns hook it up in the ring. Very good match here. I'm telling you, Dolph Ziggler this year has been doing some of his best work. Maybe it's because he's on Monday Night Raw that we notice it more. Maybe that he's in a main event pitcher uh, and we notice it more. But Dolph Ziggler has elevated his game uh, so far this year. And I've really like Dolph Ziggler. He sells. He, he he does great promos, great facial expression, great walk work here. But nonetheless, the big dog, Roman Reigns, gets the win over Dolph Ziggler with the spear. Uh, very good match here on Monday Night Raw between these two guys. Uh, if you get a chance, go ahead and check it out. Roman Reigns, hands raised at the end of this match. Uh, then we move on to Ronda Rousey taking on Ruby Riot. Uh, each and every week, we see Ronda Rousey getting better and better. Every time she wrestles in the ring, she's putting on great work here, facial expression. She enhances her move set each and every week. Uh, Ruby Riot is one of those wrestlers who can help Ronda Rousey move along. And this match didn't disappoint. We, this match was built up from last week uh, because it's setting up the Super Showdown show where the Riot Squad will take on the Bella Twins and Ronda Rousey on this Saturday morning. If you're watching it live, You've got to get up at about 4 a.m. to check it out. I'll check it out. We also have a review show afterwards. Uh, so go ahead and make sure you join us next uh, Join us next week for that uh, on Saturday for the review show of the Super Showdown. But nonetheless, Ronda Rousey, you know how this match ended. Ronda Rousey with the armbar on Ruby Riot and gets the win here. A very good match there for Ronda Rousey as she picks up the win over Ruby Riot. Uh, Bella Twins eventually gets in the ring with Ronda Rousey. They go ahead and celebrate. Uh, Riot Squad basically vows that they're going to get their rematch over. They're going to get their revenge at the Super Showdown show, uh, as I mentioned, this Saturday night. And then we move on. Bobby Roode took on Connor uh, from the Ascension. Good match here. I'd like to see where Bobby Roode and Gable goes from here. Uh, it was a one-on-one match. Hey, as I mentioned on each and every show I do, I mean, it's like to see Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode is really from NXT champion to United States champion to Raw, now taking on the Ascension. He needs somewhere else to go. This this right here is not good for Bobby Roode. In our opinion, Bobby Roode should be elevated in a little bit higher light. But nonetheless, he's doing, at least he's on TV each and every week, as they say. He is on TV each and every week, so we can't complain about that. Uh, Connor actually picks up the win here against Bobby Roode. Uh, I don't know what they're trying to do with the Ascension. Uh, let's see where they go from here. Definitely not in the tag team picture of uh, the Ascension, nor is Bobby Roode and Chad Gable. Uh, 
just want to know where they go. <laughs> Neither one of these teams will be able to take the title off of Drew McIntyre uh, and Dolph Ziggler. Uh, WWE, if you're listening, go ahead and give Bobby Roode a bigger push. Put Bobby Roode in a, in a continental championship picture, which Dolph, Seth Rollins not doing anything with. Uh, hopefully, after the Super Showdown pay-per-view or network special, that WWE can do something with Bobby Roode and Seth Rollins, hopefully to get it done. But not long, we move on to where we saw the B team taking on uh, the revival. Uh, true tag team matches here. These two guys, uh, they hooked it up. You know, first time seeing the B team since they lost the one since they lost a rematch to Seth Rollins and Dolph Ziggler. Uh, B team here taking on the revival. This match right here what, wasn't that bad of a match. Uh, it was a decent match here between two tag teams. I like the revival uh, who are your true tag teams. B team is still over with the crowd. B team, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. You know, how far can you go with the gimmick? How far can you go with the B team here? Nonetheless, it didn't last long. <laughs> the revival. <laughs> the AOP comes out and destroys the B team. AOP is looking like they're being built up to be the team that may eventually take the tag titles off of Dolph Ziggler and Seth Rollins. It will be a good match. Somebody got to be healed. Somebody got to be faced. But nonetheless, AOP destroys the B team here and Brimley and just demolishes them. Then we go ahead and move on to where we got Bobby Lash. He took it on Kevin Owens. Match didn't last too long. Very decent match as it was going on. Of course, the man of the hour, Leo Rush, baby, was out there yet again hyping up Bobby Lashley. Elias was out there with Kevin Owens. We're talking about the match from this uh, Super Showdown where you see Kevin Owens and Elias take on Bobby Lashley and his partner. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Superman himself, John Cena, will be returning to WWE ring and on WWE television as Bobby Lashley and John Cena take on Kevin Owens and Elias at the Super Show Smackdown Super Showdown in Australia here. Match ended in the DQ. Elias beat up the man of the hour, Leo Rush, got in the ring and they still both started to stomp Bobby Lashley down until uh, they got tired. Uh, very good feud here. Better to see Bobby Lashley in this feud uh, than the feud that he was in with Sami Zayn. Uh, Bobby Lashley, in the last month, six, eh, last three or four months, they had some questionable feuds. We saw him with Sami Zayn. We saw him with Roman Reigns, which was a good feud. Now we see him back with Kevin Owens, which I think this is good for Bobby Lashley to be in a feud with Kevin Owens. Tag teaming with John Cena. Good move, WWE, for making Bobby Lashley relevant, relevant again. We know that Bobby Lashley heard reports that Bobby Lashley was pissed off that he's not going to get an opportunity at Brock Lesnar. I do see that match happening somewhere down the road, whether it's after Brock's UFC run or even before Brock's uh, UFC run. But Bobby Lashley will get a shot at Brock Lesnar somewhere. We will see that match. Then we saw Bailey take on Alicia Fox. Bailey gets the win here over Alicia Fox, setting up the mixed match challenge. I like the fact that WWE uh, is promoting the mixed match challenge more. He wants you to go ahead and go to uh, Facebook Live and check the mixed match challenge out on Tuesday nights, uh, which you can check out. Uh, Jinder Mahal and Alicia Fox taking on Bailey Finn Balor on this for, uh, Tuesday night Mix Max Challenge. Go ahead and check it out. They even moved the 205, if you have not heard or you have not noticed, from Tuesday night so people can watch the Mix Max Challenge as well. So, nonetheless, Bailey picks up the win here without the Sasha Banks. Bailey's been on a roll putting her with Finn Balor. So, it's good to see Bailey on TVJ each and every week. And then we move on to uh, also had a match of the night. We had Drew McIntyre taking on Seth Rollins. After Braun Strowman said, look, I don't like weak links. Who is the weak link in our group? You know, we need to get wins here, and we need to get destroyed. Except Drew McIntyre has a very good match uh, with Seth Rollins here. Uh, before everyone gets involved, you've seen Dean Ambrose get involved. We saw Roman Reigns get involved. We saw Braun Strowman get involved. Dolph Ziggler got involved. But nonetheless, the Dogs of War leave the shield laid out in the ring. Uh... Just beat him up, beat him from pillar to post, and beat him to a pulp here on Monday Night Raw. The Dogs of War got the one up on the Shield, which most times in professional wrestling, if you see that, you know what's going to happen on the Super Showdown in Australia. That the Shield most likely will get the win over the Dogs of War, but nonetheless, uh, on for this night on Monday Night Raw, the Dogs of War got the one up over the Shield. 
Then we move on to what everyone is talking about, what you want to talk about, what everybody wants to hear. It was the Brothers of Destruction reuniting on Monday Night Raw and beating up Shawn Michaels, who, who's sporting the bald head now uh, in the beard, uh, wrong with Triple H. Shawn Michaels orig originally came out to the ring to talk about how he had respect for The Undertaker, but he will be in a corner of Triple H uh, for the Super Showdown. Then Kane appears out of nowhere and just smacks the spit out of Shawn Michaels' mouth. And then The Undertaker lights go black. Undertaker comes out and The Undertaker appears. And next thing you know, the Brothers of Destruction are whipping on Shawn Michaels Beating up Shawn Michaels, then we see the game, the music hits, Triple H comes out to the ring, and but nonetheless, as you see here, the Brothers of Destruction gets the best of Triple H in Shawn Michaels, but The Undertaker was not done there, ladies and gentlemen. He comes back to the ring as they get ready to leave and delivers a tombstone to the CFO Triple H tombstone from hell as you say and leaves the CFO Triple H in the ring is this what we'll see at the Super Showdown on Saturday this is the last time these two will ever face each other ever they's building it up WWE's building up that the last time they will ever face each other will be this Saturday at the Super Showdown Undertaker versus Triple H. Let me know your thoughts. Who do you think will win? We also, on the Wrestling Marks, actually going to do our prediction show. We'll post it here on YouTube. We'll put it on iTunes, uh, Stitcher, Google Play as well. So you can listen to our predictions. Who we think will win the Super Showdown, all, all the Super Showdown matches on our prediction show. Raw was a decent Raw. I, I had a hard time staying with Raw because it was a great Monday night football game on. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs taking on uh, the Denver Broncos, switching back and forth uh, between two shows, but did catch the end of Monday Night Raw where we saw the Undertaker, the Brother of Destruction, go ahead and put down uh, DX for that moment. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like it Raw, hey, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like Raw, leave your comments in below. want to know what you thought. Was Raw what you expected? Uh, are you going to watch the Super Showdown? Will you watch the Super Showdown? We got the SmackDown review tomorrow night. We get to find out what happened in Milwaukee, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so WWE is moving to another level. Wrestling is good right now. Be a wrestling fan. Continue to check us out. Continue to watch us. Continue to listen to us. Continue as we continue to bring you the news and the updates from the world of professional wrestling. Just not gonna stick with WWE. We'll be coming with other wrestling shows soon here in the near future. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Glenn Thomas, one four for the wrestling marks of excellence. If you're not confirmed, consider yourself denied. End of story, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. <laughs> Thank you.